Hi, welcome back to Miss Kim's Story Time. We are going to be reading today, Cows Can Moo, Can You? By Bonnie Worf. Spring has sprung, my fine friends. Come along, grab an arm. Let me take you to tour the Green Bean Family Farm. The sun's belly up, and what do you know? The house lights are on with the rooster's first crow. There's Dean and Jean and baby Irene and Mr. Green Bean and Mrs. Green Bean. He stretches his neck and says, cock a doo da doo Does that sound like the way your day begins too? In the dairy parlor, the younger green beans are connecting the cows to the milking machines. The machines go chug chug and the cows go moo moo. They clean udders beforehand and when they are through, feeding the chickens is not at all hard. Just spread grain and seed all over the yard. Nothing moves like a chicken or talks like one talks. Its claws go scratch, scratch, and its beak goes plunk, plunk, plunk. In the sheep fold, Mr. Green Bean shears the sheep's belly fleece. Then he shaves off the rest in one big, neat piece. Mr. Green Bean tries to be gentle and quick, to never pinch skin or to hurt or to nick. Most sheep sound alike, the lamb, ram, and emu. They all go ba and have woolly fleece too. Mrs. Green Bean places the wool on a table and pulls out the tags as much as she's able. The tags are the wool from the belly and back. Too dirty to use, so they toss in a sack. Next, she washes and dries it. Cards out of the knots. This task takes some time because knots, there's a lot of. Then she spins the wool into a thick yarn, and that's what she uses to knit Mr. Green Bean's mittens and socks. In the truck's garden, tidy vegetable beds and lettuce and kale with tiny green heads. Underground carrot sprout, they are actually roots. Above ground, the pole blunt beans put out their first shoots. Dean's hole digs for weeds and it scratches, scratches, scratches. The scarecrow is dressed in an outfit that matches. With tractor and tiller, Mr. Green Bean needs to ready the soil for the planting of seeds. Then Green Bean hitches up a manure spreader to fertilize the soil, make it rich and better. Suddenly, there comes a loud bang crunch. A bent tractor axle would be my best hunch. But Mr. Greenberg, being smarter than smart, calls the tractor shop to get a new part. With axles in place or shiny and new, there is one more thing Mr. Green Bean must do. He'll hook up the planter because as he'll show, it will spit out the seeds in a nice even row. There goes the planter, spit, 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 spit. It does the job quick and is neat about it. We leave and come back on a dry summer day when it's time for the green birds to bring in the hay. The sickle mower cuts down the field of tall hay then it's left out to dry for at least one more day. The hay wake swishes, swishes. It goes to and fro to gather the hay into piles like so. This long pile of hay, as all good farmers know, goes by a name. It is called a windrow. Here comes the baler with a loud rumbling roar. 
packing hay into bales that are easy to store. Vroom, vroom goes the skid steer as sister and brother stack up the bales, one on top of the other. Everything's green and growing quite well to, till midsummer comes and brings a dry spell. This means the green boards now must irrigate. They soak the dry soil after dark when it's late. Like a big garden sprinkler, the irrigations rip around and water the crops with a whip whappy whippy sound. Come fall, we return for the harvest and reaping, a date we have all looked forward to keeping. The combine does two of the harvesting jobs. It cuts down corn stalks and cuts kettles off cobs. The auger picks up the corners like so and shoots them off into the tall grain silo. The corners rain down with a rat tat tat tat. They fill up the silo in no time like that. Let's check out the garden, the time, how it flown. See how the veggies have ripened and grown. Dug out of the earth or plucked from the vine, the green beans garden's harvest was never so fine. Let's load up the truck, we must not delay, for didn't you know? It is green market day. As market day ends, the fond memories linger. The green beans are too tired to even lift a finger. The nose is sniff sniff smells great. What is that? A farm fresh meal from the cat in the hat. The end. Thank you for joining me for story time. Hope to see you soon.